one of the most important steps in the posterior indirect uh, adhesive restoration protocol. In uh, the adhesthetics protocol, we are very focused on one aspect that uh, ideally for many uh, practitioners, for, for many restorative guys, could be just something didactical, something that is far away from our daily practice. But tell you the truth, is one of the most important in order to be predictable in your adhesive cementation, to be predictable on your final result. It's something that is very important in order to avoid to lose so many energies in some adaptation, correction after the cementation. This step is the try-in phase. The try-in is something that in our protocol we are going to perform in two different moments. Before to put the rubber dam, after we cleaned the, the cavity, we did all uh, our um, procedure in order to uh, avoid to have plaque or other uh, uh, residual aspect after our provisionalization phase. And the second train uh, is important to do, to, to be performed under rubber dam, okay? So, uh, have the matching in between these two train, before rubber dam and after rubber dam is very important. And it's something that is guaranteeing you uh, the, the, the final result. Now, what are these four? characteristics. The first two are the two elements that we are going to focus ourselves in the train immediately after we clean the, the cavity and uh, before the rubber dam. Uh, we can have a double check uh, on the model and we can see how the, the margins of our restoration are going to, to seal, to close uh, the finishing line on the model and we want to have the same feedback on our tooth in the mouth of our patient. The second moment, the second aspect we are going to check is the contact area. We want to see the same type of contact area in the model and inside the mouth, okay? These are the two main characteristics, the two main goals when we do this train. In this case, we know that we have the perfect matching like uh, it was foreseen. If you are using a pure uh, digital workflow, unfortunately, maybe you cannot have the model physically. You can realize a model with 3D, but uh, it's, not, uh, it's not mandatory. So in that case, you don't have this feedback, but you can check directly on the mouth and then to see what happened. The two other characteristics that I honestly don't um, uh, suggest you to, to, to stay very focused are the uh, color integration, the, the matching in terms of color, and the uh, occlusal check. The color integration because uh, in order to have a perfect uh, uh, train, in this case, uh, you need an intermediate agent like could be a train paste or uh, transparent glycerin because you have to simulate the moment of the adhesion. Otherwise, if you have air in between, you see something that is different in terms of color could be higher value, could be not perfectly integrated, but uh, you can have the good surprise, the good news that after the cementation, especially if you have a quite medium high translucency restoration, you will have a beautiful matching. And then if you have a restoration uh, like a veneer lane example, it makes sense that you use a train paste like we have seen in a previous short video. The occlusal, the occlusal check is something that uh, I don't suggest to you to do in this moment because especially if you have no retentive preparation, you can have movements and so you cannot be very, very accurate in this type of uh, occlusal check. And uh, also because if you have a quite thin restoration, not uh, bonded, you have something fragile. And in that moment that you are going to do this check, maybe you can have micro cracks or major cracks, okay? And so you can create uh, some problems uh, on the uh, resistance of your restoration, okay? Or, 
extremely, you can also create a fracture of your restoration during this test. So before the rubber dam, two are the main test. Check the margins and check the contact area. The other two is something that uh, I not suggesting to you in all cases, in the majority of the cases, I don't suggest to you. The aesthetic evaluation, just if there is a very high uh, dominance of this uh, integration, aesthetic integration. After you are going rubber dam, again, you cannot check the, the, the occlusion for sure. If you check the aesthetic, the color, the, the, the tooth is uh, dehydrated, so you don't have this type of uh, possible uh, check. But it's very important that you check this, the ceiling of the margin, the, the precision of the margin, and the contact area. Because with the rubber dam, you can have the clamp that is uh, going to push or interfere in the proper, uh, in the proper position of your restoration. Okay. So summarizing, focus on the first two characteristics, marginal fit and uh, uh, contact area. For the rest, uh, you don't have to be very, very uh, focused uh, both in, before the rubber dam and after rubber dam. Okay, this is my sharing of today. I hope that uh, this uh, can be helpful to do better than yesterday, to improve something or to clarify some ideas or to just uh, give you a small uh, idea and improvement on your daily practice. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please share with your friends and uh, allow also to them to have this uh, small information. See you at the next video. Ciao, ciao. Do better than yesterday.